Good afternoon, watch friends. Several weeks ago, regular viewers will probably remember that I managed to acquire a Seiko Dancing Hands watch. Um, I've wanted one of these for quite a while, um, and I just thought I'd make my own little video to run through the various functions. At the moment, you can see that it's set to time at the indicator at the bottom. The crown on this watch doesn't actually do anything apart from move that indicator round. Uh, all the functions are set by the two buttons on the left hand side. So at the moment you can see it's set to time. If I turn the crown clockwise the indicator will move round to the alarm on position. If I had an alarm set uh, that would now go off. The next position is the set alarm and this is the first time we see the hands move so they come round to the 12 o'clock position and if we would like to set an alarm we set the minute hand with the top button that advances one minute at a time with each press and we set the hour hand with the bottom button and that advances an hour at a time so at the moment we've set it for five past two the next position round we come to the countdown timer and again the hands reset themselves we can set this for up to an hour um, I'm only going to put it uh, set it for a minute at the moment so by pressing the bottom button once I move the minute hand to one minute and we start the countdown by pressing the top button and you'll see that the hand the watch starts to count down by going backwards. Now we don't have to sit and watch that all the way around so we can move on to the next position which is the date and month and the hands, all three hands align themselves to point to the month printed on the rehow and we can see that it's the fifth, a little bit obscured there by the hands but there we go and we can come back to our timer turning the crown anti-clockwise and we can see that we're just coming up to the 15 second mark and as it continues to count down when it reaches zero there will be a five second alarm to show us that the designated time has been reached So the next position is the chronograph and again the hands reset themselves to 0 or 12 and we start the chronograph with the top button and you can see we have a tenth of a second flyback on the second hand and the minute hand is obviously counting around there. We can do a split time and to do this we press the bottom button and we can stop the watch there and we can take note of that time we then press the button again to continue counting and then when we've finished we can press stop and reset on the bottom and the hands reset themselves to 12 o'clock again so that is all the functions on the watch. We put it back to time and the hands will reset themselves automatically. There we go. And the last thing to show you is obviously the famous dancing hands where the uh, watch enters demonstration mode just to show that all the stepper motors are working. So by pressing the two buttons together for two seconds, the hands all move round and there we go, the minute hand moves clockwise, the hour hand moves anti-clockwise and the second hand does its little dance at the top. Quite a fascinating little feature I think. And to exit this mode we just press any button and the watch will return to the correct time. And there we go, my friends. That is the watch with the dancing hands. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this little video. See you soon.